Namaste beautiful souls. Welcome back to Yoga Infusion. My name is Dylan and today's class is going to be a beginner level one two flow with an emphasis on strength and length. So we're going to be working on elongations, some strength work and some twists. When you're ready, I'll meet you on the mat. We'll begin today in child's pose. So bring your knees as wide as the mat, your toes together to touch, and walk the hands forward, releasing your forehead onto the mat or onto a block. And come up onto your spidey fingers, so tent the palms, and walk the hands forward, lengthening the tailbone away from the fingers. Just notice this a little bit of a different stretch in the back for this child's pose. A little bit of an engaged child's pose as we start. Begin to lengthen the breath. Widening the rib cage. Stretching into the lower back. When you're ready, you can allow your elbows to relax down. Maybe bring the index finger and thumbs to touch. Palms of the hands on the mat. And begin to settle in into this child's pose. We don't often start these classes in this way, so really enjoying this little gift of stillness. Mm, inhale, walk the torso halfway up and then walk the hands over to the right. Really ground down through the left hip. Reach the hands forward and away at a diagonal across the left hand on top of the right and then release your head in between your biceps. Lengthening through the whole left side of the body. And then make your way over to the other side. Stretching up and away to the left. Cross the right hand over the left. And then release the head in between the arms. So you kind of hold on to your head here with your biceps. While you stretch away with that right hip. Breathe into the spaces where you feel sensation. And then inhale, make your way back to center and come up into a tabletop. Shoulders over wrists, hips over the knees, release the tops of the feet, spread the fingers wide, inhale, paint the tailbone towards the sky, open the heart, smile. Exhale, round the tailbone towards the space between the knees, draw the chin into the chest. Inhale, open, glide the shoulder blades together. Exhale, round through the back, cat cow. Take a few more, moving with the breath, nice and slow. And then make your way back to neutral. Neutral spine, keep your hips over your knees. Walk the hands as far, far forward as they will go. Reach the fingertips away from the tailbone and then bring your forehead to the mat, extended puppy pose. Make sure to keep the hips above the knees and find that length that we explored in child's pose, right? So moving the fingertips away from the heels. Notice if you've released your lower back, try to lengthen it towards the back of the room. 
So you get a long straight line between the fingertips and the tailbone. And then inhale, walk the hands back in, come back to tabletop, flip the toes under and come into downward facing dog. You can keep the knees bent, lifting the heels, press the hips towards the sky, press the heart towards the thighs, and then begin to lengthen one leg and then the other. Option always here, of course, to keep the knees bent. Gaze at the space between the heels, spread the fingers wide, press through the base of each finger and pedal through the feet, bending one leg and then the other. Continue to breathe nice and slow and deep. And then come to stillness. Take your gaze under the left shoulder and under the right. Back to center, inhale the right leg up and open. Stack the hip, bend the knee, lift the knee high. Breathe here, notice where you feel sensation. Press into the hands, really strong in the hands. Open that right knee high towards the sky. Beautiful. Now step the right foot between the hands, drop the left knee down, inhale, come up, low lunge. Release that back foot down, press through the top of the back foot, allow the shin to melt into the mat, squeeze the thighs toward one another, lift through the torso. Grow tall. Take the right hand to the right hip now. Reach the left arm up and over. Maybe look under the left arm, side bend. Work on that elongation of the whole side body. You're gonna be two inches taller by the end of this class. Inhale back to center, reach up. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Right arm reaches back, left arm reaches forward. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back to plank. Strong plank, press the heels away from you. Option always, of course, to bring the knees down, but make sure that the hips are low, core is engaged. Shoulders are over the wrists. Breathe and hold. This is that core building strength. Hip points scooch towards the face. Tailbone lengthens towards the heels. And try to bring yourself down to the mat in one straight line. So bend the elbows back towards the hips. Super strong. Come down onto the mat. Inhale, cobra, open the heart. Exhale, press it back to downward dog. Inhale the left leg up and open, stack the hip, bend the knees, square the shoulders. Breathe into the spaces where you feel sensation. Keep the breath long and deep. Lift the knee a little higher. And then step the left foot between the hands, drop the right knee down, inhale, low lunge. Flip the back toes the other way, so you're pressing on the top of the foot. Squeeze the thighs toward one another, engage the legs, lift tall. And bring the right, left hand to the left hip, reach the right arm up and over. Elongate, lengthen. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, open arm twist to the left, left arm back, right arm forward. Try to keep the hips square. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, plank. Strong plank. Smile here, take your version, knees down, knees up. 
forearm plank maybe if that's what you're feeling today hold heart forward core tight and then one straight line super strong elbows bend back towards the hips bring the belly down inhale cobra open the heart exhale downward dog inhale the right leg up and open stack the hip bend the knee continuing like this opening that whole side of the body the inner thighs maybe the quads hip flexors square the shoulders inhale and exhale step it through bring that back knee down again inhale low lunge Squeeze the thighs toward one another. Keep the legs engaged. And then straighten through that right foot. First, take your hands to your hips, square the hips forward. Try not to dump into your left hip now. So really lengthen through that left hip. Grow tall, then flex that right toes, those right toes towards the sky. Now, keeping the hips square, toes flexed, begin to forward fold from the hips. Bringing your hand onto the shin, onto two blocks by, the, by the either side of the leg or all the way down to the mat. Again, focusing on keeping that flat back, hinging from the hips and keep the right foot flexed. Option to take a little bend in that right knee. Open the heart, breathe here. Deep stretch. So this is not one of our most intense classes, but this is a strong foundational class for anyone who wants to strengthen their practice. Great class for flexibility. Like I said at the beginning, level one, two. We don't have a lot of level one, ones and twos on this channel, so trying to switch it up. All right, option to stay here or to keep the left hand down, keep the legs exactly as they are, reach the right arm towards the sky, twist. Lengthen. Reach the right arm up and over, palm facing down. Balance and lengthen that right side body and <laughs> place the palm down, step it back, plank. Vinyasa. So bring the belly all the way to the mat or you can chaturanga to cobra or upward dog if that's in your practice to downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up and open. Lift the knee high, square the shoulders. Breathe into the spaces that are lighting up. Inhale here, open a little more. Exhale, step it through. Drop the right knee down, inhale, low lunge. Squaring the hips, engaging the core. Keeping the legs strong, find your balance, and then bring the hands to the hips, straighten through the left leg. So finding that squareness first in the hips, that balance, and then kick the left toes towards the sky. Keeping the hips square, hinge from the hips, heart open as we forward fold, hands on the shin, blocks, or the mat. Keep the neck in line with the spine, so try not to look up while you're here. Gaze at the mat, breathe. Again, notice here, did you dump into that right hip? Try to square everything out. Breathe, lengthen the heart.
option to stay here or take the right hand down, inhale the left arm up, legs stay exactly as they are. Turning this into an IT band stretch. Reach the top arm up and over, working on that balance, and then place it down, plank, vinyasa. Upward dog or cobra to downward dog. Yogi's choice here. Giving you lots of options. <laughs> Inhale the right leg up and open. Just enjoy this awesome stretch. Inhale, get a little deeper. Exhale, step it through. This time, turn the left toes towards the outside of the mat, drop the heel, and inhale, windmill the arms up, warrior two. Check that your right heel is bisecting your left arch. Left leg is straight, right leg is bent. Arms parallel with the floor. Right knee is going in the same direction as the toes. Lift through the heart. Beautiful. So strong. Hold and breathe. Inhale, reach forward, flip the palm. Exhale, reverse warrior. Keep that right leg bent. Lengthen through the whole right side of the body. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, side angle, right elbow to right knee or right hand to a block or all the way to the mat. Reach the left arm up and over. Get a lot of length between the left fingertips and that left outer edge of the foot. Imagine your whole left side of the body getting an inch or two longer. Somebody gently pulling on your hand away from your foot. Inhale, come back up to warrior two. Use that leg strength, reverse. And exhale, side angle. So we'll do this a few times. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle, two. Moving with the breath, three. Here's the strength. <laughs> Four. Use your core strength to lift. Five. Halfway there. Six. Press through the right heel. Seven. I know that right leg is on fire right now. Eight. Nine. Only one more. Ten. All right. Inhale. Come back up. Reverse warrior. Straighten through the right leg now. Reverse triangle. And then coming back up to a standing. Hinge from the hips, so bump the left hips or the hips back towards the back of the mat. Reach the right hand as far, far forward as it'll go. And then drop the right hand down. Left arm up, triangle pose, trikonasana. Open the left hip, left rib cage towards the sky. Keep length all along the spine. So I don't want you dumping down here, getting closer to the leg. Keep long in the spine. Reach the left arm up and over. And then plant the palms, step it back, plank. Vinyasa, cobra or upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Shake the head. Send gratitude into your body as we prepare for the other side. So lift the left leg up and open. Take a moment just to enjoy the stretch. Inhale here, get a little deeper. Exhale, step it through, drop the right heel down, windmill the arms up, warrior two. Left leg leading, 
Press through the outer edge of that back foot. Lift the heart, smile strong. And hold. Arms parallel with the mat. Left leg bent, right leg strong and straight. Inhale, reach forward, flip the palm. Exhale, reverse warrior, keep the left leg straight. Left arm long, don't bend now and get all floppy in the hands. Reach the left arm up towards the back diagonal of the room. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side angle. Reach the right arm up and over. Get that length along the right side body. And then using that core strength, inhale, come back up, warrior two, reverse, exhale, side angle, one, reverse, two, use that core strength, use that leg strength, three, I feel it mostly in the legs here, four, Five, halfway, six, use the breath, inhale up, exhale down, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, Inhale, come back up, reverse warrior. Straighten that front leg, ooh, feels good. And then get ready for triangle. So bumping the right hip back towards the back of the room. Reach the left arm as far, far forward as you can go, keeping that length in the spine. And then drop the left hand down, right arm up. Trikonasana, opening the right side body. Breathe, gaze goes wherever feels best to you, down straight out to the side or up. Reach the right arm up and over. And then place the hands down, plank, vinyasa. I've moved to upward dog just because it feels better for me in my practice, but you can continue taking that cobra and meeting in downward facing dog. Take the left hand now to the center of the mat, left and right. Take the right hand to the left ankle or left thigh, twist, look under the left shoulder. Back to center, switching sides, left hand, right leg, look under the right shoulder. Back to center. Inhale the right leg up and open. Bend the knee, lift the knee high to the sky. Option to stay here or you can take wild thing. It's a deep elongation pose, but you'll drop that right foot behind you. Lengthen and straighten the left foot as you bring your right hand up towards the sky and open the heart towards the sky. And then bring the right hand back down, come back into a three-legged dog, and step the right foot on the outside of the right hand. Drop the left knee down, come into lizard pose. Draw the right knee in towards the shoulder, lengthen that left leg away from you. Option to stay on the hands, or if you'd like, you can come down onto the forearms or onto the forearms on a block even. If you're on your forearms, come back up. Scooch the left knee in a little bit 
and then allow that right knee to fall out towards the side, but keep the foot flat. So in the same alignment as the leg, you can take your right hand gently to the right thigh and twist ever so slightly to the right. Make sure not to round on the ankle. So we really wanna keep that foot flexed and engaged as we twist in the upper body. Beautiful. Place the hands down. Come straight back into downward dog. Inhale the left leg up and open. Option to stay here or drop that left foot behind. Straighten the left, or sorry, right leg. Keep on the toes of the left leg. Flip the hips the opposite way so your front body is facing the sky and open the heart. Smile. And place that left hand back down. Three-legged dog, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand, maybe move that right leg farther back, drop the knee and come into pigeon pose, not pigeon, lizard pose. Breathe into the spaces where you feel sensation. This is a nice, stretchy type class. More flowy, less boot campy for those days when maybe you don't have tons of energy, but you want to feel really good in your body. That's what this class is for. Maybe come down onto the forearms, moving that back leg a little farther away. And then scooch that back knee in a little bit. Allow the left foot, left knee to fall a little bit to the side, keeping that foot flexed in line with the knee. Gently take your left hand to the thigh and lightly rotate the muscles away from you as you twist in the upper body. Bring the hands back down, flip the back toes under, lift the knee, step the legs forward, come into yogic squat. Palms together, gently press the knees away from you with the elbows, open the heart, drop the hips. Take the right hand to the outside of the right foot, press the right shoulder into the inside of the right knee, reach the left arm towards the sky. Continue to open that left leg. And come back to center prayer. And take it to the other side. Left hand outside of left foot. The arm stays on the inside though. And then reach the right arm towards the sky. Continue to gently press with your muscles. Press that right thigh open. And back to center prayer. Smile, relax, and release. Now take your hands behind you. Come to a seat on your bum. And slowly roll down onto your back. <clears throat> Take the feet wide, take the arms wide, palms down. So coming into like a star sort of alignment. And then reach the right arm up, point the left toes, and then lift right arm to left toes. So you can either press the lower back into the mat and just lift the hand and the foot, or you can take a little bit of momentum here, lift up, helping with that left hand. Maybe it'll be better if I face this way, so let me switch helping out a little bit with the left hand and then coming back down. Opposite side, coming back down. So 10 times total, try to get that length in between the lift. So not necessarily arching a lot in the lower back, you can keep the lower back down and lift the hand as much as you can while keeping the lower back down. And then exhale, lift, inhale, reach, 
exhale, lift, okay? 10 times. One, two, three, you can move slowly. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. Reach the hands above the head, point the toes, arch the back, take a nice big stretch in the full body. Let it feel really good. And then release. Walk the feet in towards the hips. <clears throat> Cross the right knee on top of the left. Scooch the hips over to the right a little bit. And then allow both knees to fall to the left. Maybe take your left hand to the knees and reach the right arm away from you. Supine twist, variation. back to center, bring the right knee into the chest, take the left leg long, and take a couple ankle rolls with that right leg, right foot. And then straighten the leg up towards the sky. You don't need to grab your foot, you can grab your thigh, but just lengthen here, gently. And release, cross the left knee on top of the right, scooch the, the hips over to the left, and then drop the knees to the right. Reach the left arm away from you. Shoulders down. Breathe and release, relax. Inhale back to center, bring the left knee into the chest, right leg long, a few ankle rolls with that left leg, and then straighten the left foot up towards the sky. If you have a strap, great place for it. You can also just grab onto the thigh or to the shin. Just get a nice hamstring stretch. And then release down. Taking the hands out to the left and the right, let the feet fall to the left and the right. Allow the body to be heavy here. Even though we've just spent the whole practice lengthening and getting light into the body. Here we're gonna allow the body to really sink, really be heavy, really release any hold any muscular tension that might still be going on. Give yourself permission here to rest, to be still, to be joyous. For this final resting pose of Shavasana. Stay here for as long as you're able to. From my heart to yours. Namaste. Namaste.